Hey guys, um, I'm here with a new tuto tutorial on how to make ink, graffiti ink. So what you're going to need is a container, whatever kind of container you have, one, whatever. You're going to need pens, and you're going to need a lot of them. Um, I got a pack of ten, I believe at the dollar store um you get them anywhere walmart whatever 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 store you have i'm sure they have pens just grab whatever kind of pens you want uh you need a pair of scissors and um um dot three brake fluid uh it uh, acts as a staining agent so it makes the, the ink stain really really bad so I mean, you're gonna need gloves for sure, you're gonna need gloves. Um, and another thing that preferably you guys might wanna use is alcohol. And uh, you're gonna need a rag. So, you're gonna need a rag. Cause this does get pretty messy. Sort of, kind of, depending on how you how you, uh, how you do things. Anyway, let's get started. So, first thing you gotta do is take the ink, the uh, ink tube out of the, this thing, this pen tube thing. It's worthless and I need it. Uh, so let me get all these done and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Alright, so once you're done, you're gonna end up with these. And what you're gonna need to do, um, it's a bit and what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take this part off. Uh, if you can take it off, I don't think these are gonna come off, whatever. But what you're gonna do is, you're gonna cut, you're gonna cut this off, you're gonna cut it off piece by piece, and you're gonna place it in there. Um, you're gonna want to use a pair of scissors that are old or that you don't need or no one's gonna ask why there's ink on it. Um, so you just throw those in there and yeah, that's about it. You gotta, that's pretty much it. I'll get back to you guys when I'm done cutting all of these and whatnot. Alright guys, I do apologize for the lighting. I fixed it somewhat so it's easier to see. But uh, as you can see, of all the ink cartridges, you can tell uh, there's ink starting to uh, seep through. But um, usually, what I would do is put alcohol about uh, halfway, maybe a little under halfway. Uh, but I don't have alcohol with me. I usually use 90% alcohol. But uh, the alcohol is used for the ink to come out. But as you can see, the ink's already starting to come out, so it's not really. Uh, it's not really, it's needed, but I mean, it's not that essential, and either way, the ink is going to come out. So, and plus I have this dot 3 oil, break fluid, whatever, and so to help it stay, I mean, it's going to be a little bit more concentrated, so it's going to help. So, what I would do is pour this right there. Um, I didn't put a lot, because this dot 3 is really, really strong strong as you could tell. I don't know if you guys could tell or not, but the ink is already coming out and the water is the fluid, whatever. It's starting to uh, get into a darker red. I don't know if you guys could tell. But so as you could tell already it's a uh, getting really red so I didn't put much either it's really really red and you can tell it's got all the ink is coming out everywhere so what you really need to do what you need to do afterwards is um leave it for a few days you know it's not there's no rush just leave it for a few days and uh, give it a nice consistent shakes over the period Time. So you can tell it's already staining the, the bottle of ghost stain. It's going to be great for ghost tags uh, with your markers. But, um, give, it, give it a couple shakes every now and then. Maybe wait a day, two days, three days, whatever. But uh, 
where you fold it into, make sure that's it all out, all of it out, and uh, you'll be ready to go.